Scientists have dug up an extraordinary skeleton of the most monstrous beast ever to walk this earth When he first spotted the bone Kenneth Lacovera didn't think it out of the ordinary It was the first day of a dig in 2005 in southern Argentina and he'd already found a number of dinosaur bones and even when the spur turned out to be attached to a six-foot leg bone Lacovara kept his excitement in check But what Lacovara didn't realize was that by the end of the dig he and his team would have discovered 130 bones and these bones would in fact come together to create a picture of one of the most astounding creatures that ever walked the earth if you look in the right places finding a dinosaur bone in Argentina isn't that difficult it's finding lots of them that counts indeed the aim of any good dinosaur hunter is to discover as much of a skeleton as possible and the more complete the specimen the more information can be gleaned fortunately what Lacovara and his team ended up with amounted to more than 70 percent of the creature's skeletal mass this was more than enough to determine some truly incredible facts about the beast that the skeleton belonged to Lacovara was heading a team from Drexel University's College of Arts and Sciences in Patagonia over four periods between 2005 and 2009 his group painstakingly excavated the monumental find and eventually after years of study and research they had reached a stunning conclusion using modern techniques the team worked out that the dinosaur wasn't just big it was in fact an example of the biggest creature ever to have walked the planet and amazingly when it died it wasn't even fully grown in honor of its truly gargantuan size the paleontologist gave the new beast a suitably awe-inspiring name Dreadnoughtus scrawny Dreadnoughtus means fears nothing in Latin which is apt for a creature that weighed 65 tons 15 tons more than a Boeing 737 the completeness of the skeleton allowed the team to draw conclusions about the dinosaur's size and weight it also allowed them to estimate its age when it died some 77 million years ago there is however another interesting twist in this creature's tail indeed it's only because of how many remains were found that scientists could determine how much the dreadnoughtus weighed this means then that it's likely there were other larger examples of the species dreadnoughtus is just one dinosaur in the titanosaur family and while these monsters may have eventually become enormous they all started out in eggs no larger than soccer balls within two to three decades however they would have ballooned in size intriguingly tests on dreadnoughtus's bones didn't uncover any telltale signs of aging which are usually found in animals that have reached their growth limit this 85 foot long monster then was probably getting bigger when it died dreadnoughtus was in fact a herbivore it used its massive neck to reach food and scientists believe it would have had to eat almost constantly to sustain its huge size but while its enormity and strong tail meant that predators probably left it alone this giant wasn't without its problems indeed if it ever took a tumble then it could have well spelled the beast's end because of its huge weight its massive plank-like ribs weren't strong enough to hold it up basically then a stricken dreadnoughtus would crush itself to death once it hit the ground luckily though it was unlikely that the giant needed to do much moving the spectacular length of dreadnoughtus's neck which was made of a number of huge vertebrae some of which were over a yard thick meant it could reach a large amount of food wherever it stood don't however mistake the creature for a gentle giant the bones discovered in the creature's tail showed that it was surprisingly strong and muscular in fact the tail was essentially a mace and one that happened to weigh eight times as much as a t-rex dreadnoughtus doesn't though just provide a glimpse into the life of a single species rather it reveals how all giant dinosaurs might have lived as well as giving us a better idea of the animal kingdom's upper size limits so how did this dreadnoughtus meet its end well it's likely that a burst riverbank created silt deposits akin to quicksand into which the dinosaur was sucked moreover the fact that another less complete specimen was also found nearby adds weight to this theory scientists studying the dreadnoughtus's bones also discovered a number of bite marks this suggests that as the gigantic creature was struggling to escape an opportunistic predator tried to take a bite or two from its massive frame it's difficult to imagine a time when such enormous creatures roam the earth especially when dreadnoughtus may just be the tip of the iceberg 
Indeed, a larger, more complete skeleton could be waiting to be discovered. And perhaps it will shed even more light on what was a bizarre and, to us humans, terrifying era. Right now, Dreadnoughtus is the biggest known creature to have walked the Earth. But is it actually the biggest of the titanosaurs? While we may never find out, this is definitely one of the most interesting discoveries of recent times. And a wonderful window into a time when true giants rule the planet.